After Goa, let's talk about the galaxy. You already know that it is filled with stars. But what you may not know is this. Many of these stars exist in pairs. In other words, they are binary stars. They are linked together as they orbit the galaxy. For the longest time, our sun had been an exception. But new research disagrees. Now studies say that our sun has a long lost twin, that once upon a time, it had a stellar companion too. So what happened to this solar sibling? Where did it go? Here's a report. The Earth's sun is like a lone wolf. It leads an isolated existence. Full of adventure, it orbits in one of the Milky Way spirals all alone. And this is quite unlike other stars in our galaxy. Recent studies have spotted multiple binary stars, meaning stars that orbit the galaxy while being linked together as pairs. This may seem strange, but it's fairly common. According to NASA, the variety seen in double star systems is nearly as rich as the galaxy's stellar population as a whole. In fact, the discovery of binary stars is so common that scientists now believe that maybe all stars were once in binary relationships, meaning they were born as pairs. So could our now lonely sun also have had a stellar sibling? According to new research, most probably. This can be hard to believe. After all, the nearest star to our sun is the Proxima Centauri. It's about 4.2 light years away. Basically, it's so remote that it would take the fastest spacecraft ever built more than 7,000 years to reach the star. But this is now. Our sun first formed 4.6 billion years ago and a lot has happened since then. Recent research says that the sun's twin could have previously existed. It claims that the sun may have a long-lost twin which broke away from the orbit and in all likelihood, it was significantly different in mass, meaning it wasn't the same size as our sun. The star at the centre of our solar system may seem huge to us, but in scientific terms, it's a mid-sized yellow star. And scientists believe its twin was a far smaller and much cooler red dwarf. This sounds fascinating as a concept, but we are fortunate that our sun does not have a companion, at least today its gravitational pull would have disrupted the orbit of the Earth and other planets. It would have condemned us to extreme temperatures, from unbearable heat to terrible cold. It would have probably been too inhospitable for life. So if this solar sibling did exist, it's good news that it's now lost among a sea of stars.